Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the discharge in the reservoir B and C as well as what is the height of water level in this reservoir C from this datum line. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Three reservoirs A, B and C are connected by a pipe system as shown in figure. Find the discharge into or from the reservoir B and C if the rate of flow from the reservoir A is 60 liters per second. Find the height of water level in the reservoir C. Take F is equal to 0 0.006 for all pipes. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given diagram. If we observe this diagram, there are three reservoirs placed at different levels and they are connected through pipes. So we can say that here is the flow through branched pipe. Now if we observe here the water from this reservoir A, the flow is taking place from this reservoir A to the junction point D. Now what is happening at point D? The pipe is branched into two pipes. That is here is the section DC and here is the section DB. Now if we observe this point C is below the point D. That is the level of point C is below the level of point D. So again the flow is taking place from this point D to point C. But what about the flow in between this point D and B because the level of B is higher than this level at point D. So here we have to compare the piezometric head. So when the piezometric head at point D is more than the piezometric head at point B then the flow is taking place from point D to B. So here what is the piezometric head? That is the pressure head plus datum head. So at point D we can say that PD by rho G plus ZD. So here ZD that is the what is the height from this datum line. So here is the datum line and here is the height of this point D that is ZD. So what is the piezometric head at this point B? So again pressure head. So here this reservoir B here is the free surface water level so it is open to atmosphere so pressure head that is we have to take zero and we have to take only this height of water level that is in this reservoir B. So we will first apply the Bernoulli's equation to this point E and this point D. Now why this point E because in this reservoir A E is the point at the surface of water level or free surface of water level. So we will apply the Bernoulli's equation at point E and D. So how can how we can write this? That is the pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head at point E is equal to pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head plus losses that we have to take at point D. Now if we observe in the question it is given that we have to neglect the minor losses. That means we have to consider only major losses which are due to friction. We, when the water is flowing from this point A to D, there is water is in contact with the surface of pipe and that's where friction is taking place. So we have to take only frictional losses and we have to consider only head loss due to friction that is HF. So here we will consider this is the pipe 1 that is the flow from this point A to D. We will consider here the section 1. So we will say that the loss, head loss due to friction will be HF1. So what is the formula? That is 4F L1 V1 square by 2G D1. But here V1 is not given. Now if we observe here the discharge Q1 is given for this section A to D. So from this discharge we can calculate the velocity. So V1 is equal to Q1 by area. So what is the area of this pipe? So D1 is there that is 0 0.3 meter. So pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square that we can calculate area. So V1 is equal to 0 0.848 meter per second. And from that we can calculate HF1 that is 3.518 meter. 
Now when we apply Bernoulli's equation, what is the pressure head at point E? Zero. Kinetic head? Zero. Because this point E is open to atmosphere. That's why pressure head zero. And water in this reservoir is stationary. So kinetic head is also zero. And what is the datum head? So from this datum line, the height is given for the surface of water that is 40 meter. So we have to take here this a ZE that is 40 which is equal to now at this point junction point D again we have to consider here pressure head kinetic head datum head so here we have to take the kinetic head as a zero they, because here is the this is the junction point so pressure head is PD by rho G plus datum head is ZD plus we have to add losses losses due to friction that is HF1 so HF1 we have already calculated so if we put value 40 is equal to PD by rho G plus ZD plus 3.518 so what is this PD by rho G plus ZD so this is the piezometric head at point D so what is the piezometric head at point D when we calculate we will get 36.482 meter so this is the piezometric head at point D. Now we have to decide whether the flow is from point D to B or from point B to D. So we have to again calculate what is the piezometric head at point B. So again we have to take pressure head at point D plus datum head. So what is the pressure head? Now this and this reservoir B here is the surface of water level which is open to atmosphere. So again pressure head 0. So remaining is datum head. So what is the datum head here? That is from this datum line what is the height 38 meter. So what is the piezometric head at point B? That is equal to 38 meter. And what is the piezometric head at point D? That is 36.482 meter. That means at point D piezometric head is less than the piezometric head at B. Or we can say at this reservoir B. So if we compare this, we can say that here piezometric head is less and here is more. So we have to show flow of water in the direction of B to D. So we will consider here as a section 2 that's why here the flow is taking place or the discharge we can say it is Q2 is taking place from this point B to D. Now we have to find out what is the discharge here. That is what is the value of Q2. So again we will apply Bernoulli's equation at this point F and at this point D. Because the water is flowing from this point B to D and here in this reservoir B, F is the free water surface. So we will consider here the section 1 and point D here is the section 2. So for this section 1. So pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head. So pressure head 0, kinetic head 0, datum head that is here it is given 38 which is equal to. Now at point D we have to consider again pressure head plus datum head because kinetic head we are it is neglected. So here pressure head plus datum head plus losses because when the water is flowing from this point B to D here the friction is taking place and there are losses due to friction. So we have to consider head loss due to friction from this point B to D. So here we will consider as a section 2 that is B to D. So head loss due to friction we will consider HF2. So how we can write here ZF is equal to ZD plus PD by rho G plus HF2. Now here ZD plus PD by rho G that is piezometric head we have calculated. So we can take the value as it is. Plus ZF that is the what is the level of water that is 38. We have to put value plus HF2. Now we have to calculate HF2. So HF2 is equal to 1.518 meter. So what is this head loss due to friction in this section 2 that is from this section B to D. So here we have formula 4F LV square by 2GD. So L is the length L2 that is 600 meter. Then V is the velocity V2 that we have to find out. Then D2. So what is diameter D2 is 0.2 meter. So that already given in the diagram. So when we put all the values because HF2 is known here. So only unknown term is V2 square. 
सो ऑल द वैल्यूज आर नोन देर फोर वी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर थ्री नाउ वॉट इज द डिस्चार्ज क्यू टू दैट इज एरिया इन टू वेलॉसिटी सो वॉट इज एरिया सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम दिस डायमीटर पाई बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर इन टू वी टू सो वी टू इज ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड सो डिस्चार्ज इज क्यू टू इज इक्वल टू ए टू इंटू वी टू विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो टू मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड वी कैन ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट इट इन टू लीटर पर सेकेंड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ टेन रेस टू थ्री सो विच इज इक्वल टू liter per second and this is the answer of first question now we will move for the second question that is we how to find out what is the surface of water level from the datum line in this reservoir c that means we are going to find out what is the height of this point that is the point g is at the free surface water level that is zg so we, if we observe here the water is flowing from this junction point d to c because this point c is below the level of this point d so we will apply here the bernoulli's equation so we will consider the section 1 at this junction point d and section 2 that is the free surface water level in this reservoir c so here is the point g so at this point d and g we will apply bernoulli's equation so here is the section 1 that is pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head at section 1 which is equal to pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head plus losses at section 2 because when the water is flowing from this point d to c there is the water is in contact with this surface of pipe so there is the head loss due to friction so what is the But Bernoulli's equation at point D. So here P D by rho g plus z d because we will consider the kinetic head as a neglected at this point junction point D, which is equal to. Now what is the pressure head at this point G? That is zero because it is open to atmosphere. Then kinetic head is also zero because in this reservoir water is stationary. Then what is the datum head? That is z g. So we have to take here z g plus losses. so losses we will consider here the pipe section as a 3 so in this 3 we will consider the losses that is hf3 now when we put value so this pd by rho g plus zd that is already calculated 36.482 which is equal to zg plus now what is this hf3 that is 4 fl3 v3 square by 2g d3 now this velocity velocity is not directly given but we can write this in terms of discharge and area so velocity v is equal to that is v3 is equal to q3 divided by pi by 4 d3 square that is area of this pipe so here diameter is given that is 0.3 meter so what is the discharge now if we observe here from this point a water is flowing towards the junction point d and then from this point b also water is flowing towards the junction on point d so if we observe we have to take q1 plus q2 and then from this junction point d water is flowing towards c so q3 is equal to q1 plus q2 so q1 and q2 q1 is given q2 is already calculated that's why q3 is equal to 0.0802 meter per meter cube per second that we have to take here and we have to calculate v3 that is 1.134 so now this we have to use in this formula so when we write all this equation so if we observe here is only one unknown term that is zg so what is the value of zg that is equal to 32.288 meter so this is the height of from this datum line up to this free surface water level in this reservoir c and this is the answer